Hey everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter. Thanks for stopping by today. Today I'm going to show you a couple of card projects featuring the new Galileo card kit from Studio Calico. And before I jump into the projects themselves, I wanted to show you some of the things that come in the kit. This month there's a little color box ink there. It's a pigment ink and a few tags as well as some yellow twine. And you do get a couple of envelopes. And I love this idea because it's really pushing you to make a card that's maybe a little different in shape. Of course, there is a nice variety of pattern papers, and you're going to see me use these on both of the cards today. But a good variety, there's a grid pattern and some polka dots and that sort of thing in there. You also get the strip of washi strips, or the sheet of washi strips, and I love those. I'm gonna use those on another card tomorrow, you'll see me. There's some embellishments, and of course, this adorable stamp set. But I wanted to show you because Studio Calico has changed their packaging for the card kit and they come in these really nice zipper pouches now. They're very durable. I have some of them in my craft room for other things, but these just, I really love what Studio Calico has done with these. And this all tucks nicely in there and zips close to keep that all neat and tidy together and it's great for storage. Now in addition, Studio Calico has changed something else and they have added this card basics set that you can add on and it comes with a bunch of card bases and envelopes and there's a different like a variety of different sizes there's some square some a2 there's some mini cards there and then there is this number 10 size which is here on the bottom with this blue envelope and I actually use that in one of my projects for this month you can check it out over on my blog but once again, I just love how it's pushing me out of my comfort zone to try different sizes. I wanted to show you some of the add-on stamp sets as well. There are some really fun sets this month, and I really encourage you to check them all out. And I have some projects over on my blog featuring some of these stamp sets as well. So for the first card project, I'm starting with a variety of pattern papers from the paper pad. I have like this limey green yellow color and the polka dot. I will also have the grid pattern there and a little black and white pattern paper as well. And I'm going to take the colors from those pattern papers and use those to determine the colors that I'll be using in my stamping. So I'm going to stamp kind of a polka dot pattern on this circle here. When I'm using a new stamp, a brand new photopolymer stamp, I like to do what I call priming, and that's just that I ink it up and stamp it off on a scratch piece of paper before I take it to my project. I just feel like a used stamp stamps better than a brand new stamp, so that's um, kind of my practice when I'm using a brand new stamp set. I started with the Studio Calico Lime Light ink and the smaller of the two dots, and I stamped that over on the left edge of that circle. And now I'm using the larger dot to stamp this color in Flamingo here, and they're kind of overlapping. Now I missed a little spot here, so I'm just actually gently tapping on a little bit of that ink with my finger. Probably not the best way to do it, but it worked in the end. And now I have switched back to that smaller dot as well, and I'm stamping with the glass slipper ink. And I'll finish off my pattern with a little bit of Sunny Day ink but I decided that I didn't want it to be quite so bold. I wanted the pink to stay front and center. So I went ahead and stamped that off onto my scratch paper before taking it over to my project. I'm cleaning off my stamps and that by the way that you just saw is an absorber and I'm loving it in my craft room right now. So I'll have some more information over on my blog coming up on that. Now I've taken my stamp circle and I've just attached it to my work surface to keep it from moving around and I just used a little piece of post-it tape for that. And I'm inking up this thank you sentiment from the card kit stamp set with some VersaFine Black Onyx ink. I really just love the VersaFine ink for sentiments. It gives me a nice bold black image. And I'm using my stamp press so that I can get it perfectly positioned onto that circle. Now I decided my stamped grouping needed one more little touch and this heart will make the perfect finishing touch. It's on the Love Summer sentiment piece and so I just took my my scissors and just trimmed that apart. I can later mount those back together and stamp them as one sentiment if I want but this gives me a little bit more flexibility to use that heart in other places as well. Now I have this tag die. This is from a Studio Calico tag die set and I'm running it through my Big Shot with the grid pattern paper from the pattern paper pad and then I apologize here my camera is a little out of focus for the next little bit, but I promise it'll come back into focus here. But I'm just trimming out some strips of those various pattern papers. 
And I'm adding a little bit of that yellow twine that comes in the card kit to the top of my tag. And then I've attached that tag using some foam adhesive. And I've created a little grouping of these different banners and strips of pattern papers. And I'm attaching those with some foam adhesive as well. Now for a finishing touch on this die cut circle, I thought it would be fun to have a little gold edge on it. So I'm just tapping my Versamark ink pad all around the edge of that circle and then adding a little gold embossing powder. And then I will heat set that with my heat tool and it just finishes off that circle and gives a nice little gold edge and it's super fun technique to do. If you don't wanna add more bulk with more pattern paper or glitter cardstock or whatever, you can add some embossing powder around your die cut pieces. And finally, I'll add this circle die cut to the card front using a little bit of foam adhesive as well. To finish off the card, I'm just going to use some of the enamel dots that come in the card kit. And then I am going to add some glossy accents right over that stamped heart. And you can see I also stamped a matching envelope while I was at it creating this project. And that was really fun to do. I don't usually do that but now I have a card and envelope set that perfectly match. And that's my first project for today. And so let's jump right into the second project. For the second project, I am using a circle die from We Are Memory Keepers, and I am cutting a circle out of this pattern paper here. This is kind of a map. It would be really fun to create a chalkboard effect on this, but for today I wanted to create a miss you card, and I thought it would be fun to emboss a little heart onto this map where my relatives live. So I prepped the surface with a little EK Success powder tool and I stamped that heart with some Versamark ink in the area of Texas and then added a little pink embossing powder and heat set that. Now to the front of my card base, I am adding a little bit more of that grid pattern paper and I'm going to add a strip of this kind of limey yellow green paper as well. Now I didn't show you earlier, but I actually had cut a piece of vellum as well with that same circle die from earlier. And so I'm going to stack up this matte pattern paper with that vellum circle as well and add them both with foam adhesive. So there's foam adhesive on the back of the matte paper and there's foam adhesive on the back of the vellum as well. And I will attach that to my card front over on the left hand side. Now this to me was looking like it needed a little something more, so I grabbed this pink tag, it comes in the card kit as well, and I'm going to trim it down and just use the what's on the left edge right now, so the top of that tag, and I'm going to add it on with a little bit of tape runner adhesive and just tuck it behind that circle grouping there. And then I'll add a little bit of twine. Now this twine has a little bit of gold in it, so I'm just bringing in a little bit of gold there. And for my sentiment, I am using this Dymo embossing label maker to spell out Miss You. And so now I have this kind of black greeting to go on there. There wasn't a Miss You sentiment in the stamp set, so I just thought I would make my own, and that's a fun way to do that. So now I have another grouping of pattern papers. I've used the polka dot from the card kit, as well as a little bit of vellum and some gold glitter cardstock, and I'm attaching them together using my tiny attacher. And then I've adhered them onto the back of my little label piece there with some foam adhesive. And I'm adhering that all down to my card front using some tape runner adhesive. So that completes my second card project for today. A really fun Miss You card for my relatives in Texas. I hope you enjoyed this video and these card projects featuring the Galileo card kit from Studio Calico. I also have more projects using this card kit as well as some of the add-ons over on my blog. I've linked all the products used in these projects in the YouTube description below as well as over at my blog. Thanks for stopping by today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I hope you have a fabulous day.